Well, good morning. May already, and uh, boy, is it cold this morning. So right now at the moment at uh, sunny Port Wollonga, it is 14 degrees Celsius, and uh, inside is even colder. So we're heading into that time when uh, we won't be walking around the block for something to do, but actually hanging out or maybe in front of a fire or a blanket or a huggy or something. Uh, whatever keeps you warm. Okay, uh, we're back into the uh, term two of uh, semester one and uh, estimated costs. And we're now at that stage where um, everybody should have actually finished their, uh, their work in regards to uh, take off up to carpentry. Um, if you haven't, you need to get your skates on because you will not keep up. And that's an absolute key. So first off, before we um, get into the uh, student view, this is what you see. Uh, my muddly looking thing is something uh, quite different because I have a lot of stuff behind the scenes here. But um, that's just how this works. All right, let's have a look at the state of play for us as students. And so this is everything else, emails that I've sent out. Now, uh, last night's class, okay, this one up here, um, we've already done an upload. We do have uh, uh, one student, Elliot, who actually comes in uh, to TAFE and if you're an external and you're struggling or there's this sort of stuff where there's just like nothing, nothing, um, then basically you're going to waste your money. That's really what it boils down to. Um, if you have green like that, okay, that means that you're uh, in control of what you're doing. And uh, that's that's really important. OK, if we don't have that, uh, then we've got a few a few issues. OK, the assessment, uh, the thing that bothers me the most, all right, is uh, assessment one class home price comparison. OK, that's right up the very start and around about preliminaries or somewhere near there. You need to actually have a look at that. OK, it needs to be completed. And uh, this was actually released week one. And we're now up to around about week eight, nine or something like that. And uh, dawdling along like snails. And so uh, that's a problem because we've got six weeks. And in that six weeks, uh, we have got a heap of work to do. And so it's vital that you guys get on top of this. Um, I, I've got a very tight schedule that I have to run to. And uh, so that means that, and it doesn't help when you crook, okay, which I was before the, um, uh, before the Easter break. So I work from home, but of course, nothing like a face-to-face -face, uh, situation. So the, uh, the green squares are where people have actually finished work. <coughs> Excuse me. And then over here, um, we've got a few other uh, situations. So basically, these three here are the most important out of all of these. These need to be done. Now, knowledge questions. Many of my external students have done this really well and have also uh, got hold of classic read figures and, and so are actually continuing on uh, quite quite excellent and so some standout students like for example uh, Jake here um, who's actually just managed to get everything all the way along and so there's a few you know th uh, two or three here as well and uh, I'm really pleased with that and uh, just encourage you to dig into this because one of the key things about estimating is making sure that you complete everything OK, you do an estimate and, and miss uh, a couple of pages, um, you're dead in the water. OK, it's game over. And already we're actually seeing that with multiple builders that have gone broke 
um, often to circumstances which ordinarily would never happen. And, uh, you know, the situation where, you know, if you don't plan for contingencies and you just float, and obviously a lot of builders were trading insolvent, relying on that next job to pay off the interest and everything else like that. And then when suddenly there's a absolute train wreck and you can't get material, you can't finish on time, finances are broken, and all of a sudden um, their trip's over. Okay, they can't recover. And so uh, for you guys that have, uh, learn from this, be an absolute uh, uh, sponge and absorb the mistakes that you see and go, you know what, I'm not going to do that. Because if you do, you'll be no different to 90% of the builders. And there are some cottage builders and stuff like that who, in spite of all the tough times, are still trading along. And so, which is fantastic. And um, Part of study, part of uni, for example, is teaching you to actually finish stuff. And uh, there's an old adage in the word that says, many start, few finish. And uh, nothing could be further uh, from the truth. And so you can actually see um, our two groups, you know, it's not massive. Third, it's a very small group. Normally, I have 50 to 60. So this is abnormal. And uh, but it's important to make sure that you work on these things here. So this one in particular. So from here right through to there, that necessary has to be green. Class agreed figures. Uh, some people I've, now I've sent out emails. That's what these yellow uh, little squares up here. Email sent. End result from email sent a zero with the rim knocked off. OK, not good. So when I send you an email, it's for a reason and uh, it's critical. All right, up over here, there's a, what's called knowledge questions. And that was in the first part of the actual unit. So I'm just going to drop this down. OK, see here. Assessment one. This is where the knowledge questions are. So I'm going to open it up so that uh, and this has already been showed to you. There's actually. Um, a little video inside of here that you can actually watch. It's also in here. This now has actually been uh, made live. It wasn't live when I started the course because I'm rebuilding uh, this particular unit. And so uh, for this uh, to be complete, um, it's not a huge assessment, but there are, as is normal, PowerPoint 1, PowerPoint 2, 3, and four and then finally the assessment questions okay and then finally after you've says watch all the powerpoints carefully fill in your id scan and see a number at the top of the actual uh, assessment work on all the uh, assessments that are in the powerpoint complete all the questions don't google your answers all of the information is in uh, the PowerPoints and students are notorious for being slack and lazy, not reading and just chuck in a Google answer and you can end up with Google Kalangadu or Google whoever knows where and it has nothing to do with the assessment. So be very aware of that. OK, you might be one of those 10 percent who actually do what is written. All right. Um, now, I put down here and it's absolutely true. Good luck. Most students that work hard seem to have lots of luck. OK, the ones who are haphazard are normally those ones. Oh, I don't know. I try my best, but nothing happens. No, can't go down that track. If you're going to be successful in life. All right. Work hard. All right, that will make a huge difference and it's really critical. And uh, so uh, as a little rev up, because this thing should have been finished five weeks ago. And I know that many students have got stacks of work to do and are, are absolutely a drowning under that work. But um, you knew what you were heading for when you actually signed up. 
you need to get stuck into it because I don't want you to waste your time and your money. I want you to be actually able to, to do the work that we need to do. So this one here is really critical. Okay. All right, so down the side over here, there's some information which is um, quite important. And uh, when we actually get to the, so, so far in regards to our um, estimating, we've actually run from about here down to here. And last night we started to touch into other trades doing electrical, okay? Um, the how much do you charge is basically, um, I put that out uh, before Easter and if you haven't seen it, you can have a look and, but that's spare time stuff. But it really, um, there's nothing like experience that can actually help people uh, because I know that when I started my, my own business, uh, the stuff that I thought I knew, I didn't know and I learned by very hard, lessons and so i'm trying to save you actually going and denting your head against the wall and going you know why didn't someone tell me i'm telling you what you need to do to be successful and uh, it it's not luck okay it's it's plain solid hard work and uh, you know you want to get anywhere in life that is how it works okay it, do, it doesn't just pop out of the woodwork for you okay so all right, let's just have a quick look at online classes, semester one, 2023. And you can see here, so these are all the things. There's a knowledge question, preliminary requirements, key features, class agreed figures, slab and under, underfloor plumbing, wall frame layout, roof timber, which is basically all the trusses and ancillary timber and finally roof purlins, battens, fascias, barges, ridge caps, valley gutters. Okay, so that's where you should be up to right here. We then had uh, another additional week which we actually went through and today's video is work in progress upload. Okay, uh, which uh, you are actually listening to as I record it. All right, um, other things that are, are critical. All right, so um, the other thing is I have actually made the and finished the spreadsheet. So enough students have actually put in class grid figures. Uh, some of the figures were wild and wonderful, but that's pretty much normal the case. And so that's okay. So if we go into class grid figures, scroll down, okay. And what you will find is this here, which has now been open. This is the final spreadsheet for this semester. Now, the reason I do this, this is unique to semester one, 2023. And in actual fact, it will be uniquely different than semester two, 2023. And what it does is it actually keeps people honest. And believe me, I have plenty of people who actually try and do shortcuts, even students who grab hold of someone's work from a year or two or three ago and then wonder for some absurd reason why they fail. All right. And so let's open this up, click it here and right down the bottom there and we'll open it up. And I've got a dump folder in here where I can put that through there and I'll just go save. Okay, and right down here should open up directly. Lots and lots of work in this. Okay, all right. Now I'm just going to minimize it just a little bit. All right, and I've got to go over here. Radio. So this is the final spreadsheet. Your first job, place a scan of your ID, and put it here above your work. Joe Bloggs, name. Um, down here, you can actually also put 
whether you are external, internal, and any other relevant information. Okay, so um, I am going to just uh, give you a, a very, very uh, extreme brief overview on this entire unit. Now, what you will actually find over here are some of the, the uh, technical stuff that was in class agreed figures, which you followed. Over here, whether we have an actual labor rate, whether it's our meter, meter squared, cubic meters. Now, the working figures that you will be uh, 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 working on are these blue cells, nothing else. In here, if, for example, you don't understand exactly what the hell a crossover permit is, then quite simply you can click on here, right click, new note, Okay, all right, so, and if you do that, go up here and you can basically just highlight it yellow. Um, it'll be uh, almost like I can't miss it and I will actually go in here and go, oh, okay, and I can answer your question. All right, it's going to save. And sometimes things happen and you think, God, what, the, what are we actually doing this for? All right. Now, to fill out the Excel spreadsheet, all of you by now would actually know Excel spreadsheets off by heart pretty much, um, unless you're like me. Uh, when I went to school, there was no such thing as uh, Excel spreadsheets. Um, everything was uh, handwritten. And then along around about uh, mid 90s, along came computers. Uh, they were around, but you know, for a tradie, you know, um, didn't happen. I bought a computer, it had a Windows 95 in it, and it had the Microsoft Office suite. And I found this thing called Excel, and I thought, wow, look at that. It keeps all the columns nice and neat and tidy and easy to follow. And um, I didn't know anything about formulas, you know, like this stuff up here, get there and go, what the heck is that, you know? But you know what? This is so simple. So this is just data entry. So first of all, I'm just going to scroll up here past your name. It's going to be here. And uh, what we can actually do, and I'll just tizzy that over a bit. All right. So all of these are one digit answers. So we could basically uh, just simply click in one. I was telling the guys last night, the quickest I've seen this filled out was by an office manager. And uh, she actually filled this out in a little over an hour. It was unbelievable. And she's talking to everybody else and uh, just typing away and just filling in off of her takeoff. So um, visualize that here is your, is your spreadsheet. and on your second screen is your takeoff. And so you then actually use that takeoff to give you the relevant information that you need on the screen. And that's always a good thing. And so it's actually critical. And so if I was to just go like this and here's the takeoff, um, that uh, you could see the sorts of information, you know, like how many angle breaches, how many back plates, anything like that. And basically, way up here somewhere, this is the class agreed figures. And then when we get to here, this is actually where we did that. Now I'm going to actually shut that one because that's an old one and open the other one. Okay, which is over here, and basically go right up to, okay. So straight away, week one, we ended up using a, uh, a series of uh, information, and I want to actually, I wish I could actually get that a bit smaller, but I can't. All right, so here we have it. 
we actually did some working out with Slav and Under, and this is one that I did with you to show you exactly what I want you to do. Um, so first of all, we calculated all of the green uh, layout uh, sheet. Okay, they, they were actually vertical strip footings, and we ended up with a total amount of 66.88 lineal meters. Now, that 66.88 is critical because we will use it in other areas. And so um, just going in and, and getting an answer from somebody else and not filling any of this in um, will just get you back again doing it because you just won't complete. Uh, horizontal, 43.32. And of course, over here, these are just the sub figures, 8.02 and 5.19. And when we actually work out 110.2 um, by 0.3 by 0.4 will give you 13.21 cubic metres of concrete for the strip footing. So then if we were in concrete, we could actually go in and actually start to enter in these figures where they're asked for. For example, how many manual meters are the SF1 and 2? Because the actual charge out rate for labor is not on the cubic meters, but actually on the lineal meters of the actual strip footing. And there's a rate for that. And so that's what we've put in the actual spreadsheet. And so the reason for this uh, is to make sure that everything is tickety-boo is so that when we go through and you should end up with something like this and then we continue on and on and on uh, until we get to the other end so along here this is drop dead easy now there's a couple of things here where i've actually you can see this row down here so this is each, one each, so one at 3,900, one at 2,138. And what we have here is a total figure. Um, over here, scaffold hire. Now, you have no idea what size scaffold it is. So I put in here that it is 12 meters long by three meters high. 12 threes, okay, in the class of four, I got one who actually answered that. So you should, practice actually mental arithmetic 12 3 36 so over here 36 enter okay. and so basically for the time that we're uh, actually working with the scaffold they have to do the brickwork they have to finish the gable and all that associated work and also probably pay the painter it's going to cost a thousand and eight dollars okay um, there's a temporary fence, 19 metres, which is the frontage of the actual home block that we're working on where it's been subdivided. So over here, we just put in nine, oops, fat fingers, 19, press like that, and straight away, $912, okay, for the temporary fence. Now, the temporary fence higher is actually six months, so therefore... We just click over here and just put in six, enter. All right. And so for the hire, for that period of time, it's going to be $288. All right. But the erection and, and also demounting all comes in around here. So can you see how simple this is? Now, this is one that most people get uh, asked up. And that is crane hire. So we have, where do we need a crane? We need a crane to put up the... Uh, the T beam for the, and that's a big wide section. It's quite wide. So when we're actually looking at that, we can see that uh, that's that's an expensive deal. Um, so you got to uh, when you pay for a crane, you don't just pay for the time that the crane's on site. Um, the crane has to leave the depot, drive to you. It's like a tractor crane, and um, in the initial uh, work there is a part there about tractor cranes and what sort of licenses and everything else you need for it as well so at least four hours okay to lift up the beam would take all of uh 20 30 minutes 
but to get there get back make sure it's secure everything else like that so we just allow and there's the rate over there and just put in four hours and there it is now this is just data entry now what i'm going to do with that because uh, you'll have a copy of this i'm going to wipe this out and the reason for it is i want to show you some areas that are now we're back to zero do not change any of these figures leave it as it is and uh, now i have a master figure i know exactly how much this is going to cost and it's going to be pretty close to half a million dollars okay so um now if i scroll right down to the bottom and i'll do it rather slowly because there's some yellow squares which you need to there's 560 lines here fortunately you don't have to fill them all in so if you see a section and it says do not work on this section rates are already done okay they're they're sorted okay i have had students times this by two times this by two and put that into there and we have an aluminium window that's worth eight million four hundred and twenty seven dollars and no instruction to do that they just thought that that was what you needed to do because we were doing see this here square meters and the fact is the rate of this is just a standard window detail you would go to to get those figures so um maybe what should happen is with these is i just delete them so um now hasn't happened for several years but generally that's where it started from now you can see that there's four thousand seven hundred and two dollars for windows i haven't updated that or anything like that and it's already done it's not blue anything blue you muck around with anything not blue you don't touch okay by all means read it check it over all that sort of stuff but for example last night everybody actually worked on the electrical and then what they were doing was actually going in here how many external lights have we got and they go here and put it there now the interesting thing in regards to um, electrical appliances and stuff like that um, when I first did this, I had students working out how many meters of cable and the way we were going was going to take about two and a half years to actually do the takeoff. And then the electrician who was helping me, one of the lecturers, he said, oh, no, he said, you actually have a set rate for an appliance. And in that appliance uh, figure is an allowance for cable. All right. And so um, basically that made life that much easier. So, for example, an internal double GPO, 144.55. External GPOs, 66.37. Oven circuit, 87.93. So obviously we've got one circuit that goes to the oven. So that's a one. And we just put that in there. Um, in the actual uh, layout plans, at the very back page is an electrical layout and what i want you to do with that is actually add up in in the sequence okay the amount of lights there's external lights internal lights there's double power points single power points and you actually go through all the way there and then you basically put those figures into here and it'll just add up automatically uh plumbing's a nightmare so uh, we just go through here and these rates have all been put in. These have been upgraded and uh, so they're all sorted. Uh, lock up carpentry again. So what have we got? We've got the labor. We've got the hardware. We've got the external doors. Then we've got the eaves lining material and also little gable. So normally with lock up, you're sealing the entire house from the weather so that the plasterboard can be done. Now insulation one of the reasons we need to have the uh, wall frame layout lineal meters is because we can grab the, that distance from there and put that into here and that will actually give us a lot of this information all right we scroll down a bit more fixing carpentry okay second fix okay this kitchen do not work on this section okay this is a uh, joinery it's a specialist field and so um 
we did this several years ago and it's a very simple uh, joinery unit setup painting absolutely we need to do that now these figures are, i put in here is to give us some square meter areas at which you can compare with what you have worked out and uh, then you can make a choice whether you use that figure or yours okay don't just use this one because it may not be right all right floor coverings uh most um uh, builders unless it's the design and construct situation uh, don't actually work on floor coverings and so again this is actually uh, don't work it's actually used as a, a figure so what should actually happen for here is it's got to be more than that so I'm gonna have to check this one so um, all right here all right we've got fittings and fixtures and so a couple of people over the years have done all that and so this is already done appliances window furnishing blinds and curtains you know normally builders stay away from that never get in the way of um, a, you know the female of the species who's setting their house up and go oh well you can only have that uh, you'll end up with your head knocked off now already fifty three thousand four hundred five dollars and thirty nine cents will be um is actually already accounted for in this takeoff now what you will actually see underneath here is a um in the organized builder and also the um, calculator soup there there's actually a percentage calculator and so your job is to get within 10 percent of the final figure which is pretty simple to do what i will do is actually put a little box here little text box about here and it will actually list your final figure against the master figures and this is only simply for interest now you will see the master figures of course what i will do and i'll just shift this over to here a little bit more um, basically over here will be a copy of these three items through here and they will go over there and uh, when i mark it all i simply do it's exactly the same format as this and then i can easily compare and uh, then further out which you don't see is another section on my marking uh, chart which is comments okay and uh, and they are i try to keep those positive i don't to, i don't try to slag people or anything like that I want to encourage you to be the best you can be so when we actually bring this down to a small size you can imagine like total quantities i'll put it here and this one and this one and that one and we'll have that as well and so they'll be there and it'll go all the way down and then we can compare notes as it was and that's how this is this is how this is calculated so for you data entry is what you have actually entered into your takeoff um, goes into the relevant squares so for example uh, when we get down to earth wheat, earthworks okay how many linear meters or square meters of uh, ground is our block okay and the site clean is basically five dollars a meter squared so it's the side of the block and you actually put that into there okay um over here removal of soil so uh what we're actually talking about is the total area of the block by 75 three inches deep and basically and put that into there and this is $187 a cubic meter. So it's a cubic meter rate that you're meant to find. Um, there are three trees. And so straight away, you can just go into here and just put in three. Um, being green isn't cheap. There's a, uh, a silt fence. Now, we know uh, already a few minutes ago, we talked about the actual front fence okay is 19 meters so straight over here we just put in 19 and enter and it adds up automatically for you now we've got actually 
excavating the piers. Now you guys have should have actually already worked on those um, on the piers, and we know that that's actually 12.5 cubic meters of concrete, but it's 78.6, I think it is from memory, of lineal meters because it's a rate of $100.58 a lineal meter. So 78.6, enter. And so to bore all the piers, it's going to cost $7,905. And so straight away. Now, uh, the way I work is I actually just start at the top and I work my way down all the way through. And you'll notice that uh, over here, lineal meters of trenches, you know how I said to you, you needed to work out the amount of lineal meters vertically and horizontally. Why is that? Because you need to put that figure here. You also need to, so this is actually SF1 and SF2. This is actually the strip footings. Um, how many cubic meters of a blue metal, which we actually worked out. Um, we've got to actually have some labor um, to actually spread that out. You're going to have to be at least a day. And so you actually get over there and say, radio, um, how many hours is that going to be? And uh, and so if we just put in eight hours and click it like that, notice, all right, so somebody's actually going to be working on the labor, but there's also somebody here is going to be actually doing the dingo work. There's a truck to remove the waste and we just fill that in, okay? Now, do not go to Bunnings or anyone else to get the rates. These rates are just simply generated by an average of what everybody is put into class agreed figures. And so they are wide and wonderful, some of them. Some are pretty accurate and some are like, a oh, what? Okay, but that's okay. Because what that does do is creates a unique total for this semester. And then next semester, this gets wiped out again, and we do it all over again. And that way there, you can't have the situation which I did encounter in the early days of people actually knocking off somebody else's work and uh, wondering why they get an F. Okay, so straight away, we've actually got that situation about how to actually fill out the spreadsheet. The other thing that we need to do is to save this in the same location in the TAFE SA cloud, okay? Wherever your takeoff is, you may have a folder and that folder is called estimated costs. And so you would actually get up here and save, okay? And in my case, I've got stuff everywhere and uh, here's my spreadsheet master for students okay and so what I do is I save that there all right and so that has everything that I need to actually work out for there and so we have all different sorts of stuff it's not on my my personal drive it's on my TAFIS A drive so that means that wherever I go, I log on to TAFE, I can actually go straight into uh, documents and there it is sitting there looking for me and you've got no chance of this actually disappearing, losing your work. One of the guys last night actually clicked one button accidentally and lost everything he had, lucky for him that he had it saved in OneDrive and he just went in and clicked it again and up it came up because we hadn't even started doing any work. Uh, what we were doing was actually um, the class in progress upload needs to actually go uh, as a file. And so I'm going to actually show you now how to actually do your class in progress upload so that I can actually work. So, so far I've done three this morning. Uh, pretty simple, and what it does is the, uh, it allows me to cut the amount of um, uh, marking at the end of the year.
okay and uh that's that's a big deal so there it is there so now yours will be different than mine you won't actually have um several now because i work from home okay everything that i have at tafe is actually in behind this drive okay and and so i work everything out of there and uh basically it's a really handy tool all right so we're going to go back okay we don't need to see this anymore you will have your copy now what i need to uh, reiterate absolutely critically number one make sure that you put your id a scan of your id a little picture on here okay um it's not so bad here especially internally because we've only got four students that are turning up um so i know them pretty much but the, when you have 50 or 60 it's a huge deal because you can be thinking along the lines of who you're dealing with and what conversations you've had. And if you can't actually uh, put a name to a face and that's, uh, you know, I'm 67, I'm getting on in age. And so that's not my best thing. So I have to be, uh, allow that. And then I could go, ah, yes, okay. And that doesn't mean that I mark you on your appearance. It's just your ID and your information and whatever CRM you are over here. All right, so um, this is simple, okay? This is just data entry and it's gonna make our life uh, quite easy. What I'm going to do and, and expect is each week as we head towards the end of the uh, semester, um, you find yourself an hour or two of a week that you can actually fill this in as you go. Okay, so let's just get down here and say, rightio, um, I've, and what I've said to the guys will take a couple of weeks. I said, spend an hour or two a week and fill in, for example, all of the concrete. There it is there, and you can put all this in. Won't take long, <coughs> excuse me. And that's how that goes. This little fellow here is actually just a nice to know, and we won't be doing any rates on that at all. And this is another one where we actually had these pods that actually go under here, and it was unbelievable. This was per meter. And uh, this is actually talking about the amount of material that actually goes around the um, uh, for the columns. And uh, it was like a $50,000 exercise actually making the form work and stuff like that for it and i thought oh my goodness all right so enough of that that's how this part here works so now what we're going to do is actually have a look at uh, what we can actually work on in regards to saving a separate file which will limit the amount of i don't want you to uh, put the whole booklet back into TAFE again or else I'll get uh, slapped on the hand for uh, too much information. Okay, so I'm going to actually just minimize that, um, minimize that. And now what I want to do is actually go to the area that we need to see. So first of all, this is where you download your final spreadsheet for semester one, 2023. All right, now what we'll do, we'll go straight uh, over here, we'll go down to carpentry, scroll down, okay, work in progress, take off portal. All right, now this says all the way through the unit, I've continually referred to the takeoff as the most important aspect of any costing. True, starting at class agreed figures, you've chose that what you've chosen through for rates. This is vital in estimating. And so to ease the marking load when carpentry is completed, upload your takeoff. I will check your work and comments where needed. When your mark work returns, you can continue with the rest of the takeoff. So now what I'm going to do is grab this poor thing and I'm only going to do um a couple of pages right so there it is there this is what we started and well 
want to do is actually get out here and say blank document all right and i'm going to drag that document over here okay now what we need to do for this is go through and copy this from this point because i don't want all this other stuff from here to here on here so let's go and just scroll down and i just hold my mouse and just drag it down and uh, we'll go through like so so I've been working away pretty well getting all this done plumbing carpentry see we're getting pretty close all right you can just see through there and roofing all right there's just a little bit more my fingers getting sore rightio we go to here just take your finger off the mouse control c over here control v okay now we can just minimize this this is the file that i want you to upload so i'm just going to save it so that i can uh, basically uh, copy it so i'll just go file save as and i'll just save it into my onedrive had onedrive had a heart attack this morning so that was okay so it might put it for dump folder for marking and i am just going to plan set provider and then i'll just call it that all right that's the wrong name i should actually just call it um Take off all right and i'm gonna put it under my estimated uh cost file over here all right it's now saved okay i can shut that don't have to worry too much about that now i'm over here like this and so the next thing i need to do is actually open that file up and first of all so right here i need to actually get this file so over here work in progress add a submission all right um and there we have it there all right so i'm going to drag that file into there so i'll go back into here all right and again i'm going to go into 2023 dump folder for marking estimated costs and this is where it becomes really painful but i'm just going to go like that drag that over to there all right and i want to do this and come in here and just go bang there it is into there now i'm just going to go save changes okay and it's now going to ask me and this is where a lot of students miss this they just plonk it in there and they forget to actually submit assignment okay so that's really critical that you actually submit your assignment okay so if you um actually don't submit it'll come in to learn as a draft copy and i don't get notified and uh, it's a real bugbear it's one of those things now um let's just say that you've decided that uh, you need to change something on your submission you can edit or you can remove it and then actually upload it again okay uh, a little bit harder after you've actually, if i mark it and i say not acceptable and ask you to resubmit which i've never had to do in five years um it's not a real problem but this is important this bit over here all right so i've actually done this i don't want to actually clutter up learn with one of my uh, a test thing to show you what to do but this is actually uh, crucial and then straight away i get notified uh, in learn what uh, has been actually uploaded and then i mark it now my marking critique 
works along the lines of as you put them in, I mark every student where you are in the queue. Okay, so I don't actually go, oh, I just want to mark all the estimated costs or I just want to mark, no, it doesn't bother me that one minute I'm doing read plans and next minute I'm doing estimated costs or design timber frame homes. That That's not an issue. What it is, it's just, it's merit. The quicker you put it in, the quicker it gets marked. I have students that put something in at four o'clock. At 4.30, they're going, have you marked my work yet? And I have to say this all the time, and that is your work is in the queue. And as I get to it, um, it will be marked. OK, and so that's that's really critical to know. So I hope this little bit of information here um, actually works out uh, rather well for you as to what we need to do. Now, if you're behind, uh, get your skates on. OK. Um, I don't want to see anybody fail. I don't want to see anyone uh, just go, not too hard, I'll withdraw or whatever. I want to see you actually learn. Um, and uh, the enjoyment factor for me is actually teaching what I learned over my career. And who knows, one day you may be doing the same. All right, so now what I'm going to do is just remove the submission. Like so, okay, and then we're back over to here. So this is where we are. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is bring this up to here and other trades. So today, uh, right now, where we are, these are the other trades. So electrical, okay, so we'll be doing electrical. Will we finish? We'll be doing roof plumbing and stormwater. Um, some more work on the plumbing first fix, uh, brickwork, rendering. Uh, there is some windows and doors stuff that you'll be actually having a look at, but you don't have to fill that in. And so when you go through this, all the information about plumbing, all the information about electrical. And uh, next week, we're going to be working on this fellow here, brickwork. All right. And then once we go to brickwork, we then go to solid plastering. Then we work at now. Uh, solid plastering and roof plumbing generally gets done in the same week because neither of them are, are very big. Uh, windows and doors, we just actually have a look on that and uh, and go like this and you can see my comment about working out height and width and rates for windows and then we actually then get to lock up so once we go to lock up all right this is uh, this is the big one plasterboard we actually work out plasterboard for the entire home okay carpentry second fix tyler plumbing second fix Painter, uh, if you've done the plastering correctly, the painting is a piece of cake because all the square meters that you're going to use comes from plasterboard and then goes into here. Painter, then we've got a little bit of paving, and then finally, the bit that we're always looking for, and that's this one here. Okay, and uh, then it's a matter of just filling in our work. And so over the next five six weeks five preferably this is what we will be doing and then that gives me time to mark everything and if there's any resubmits and stuff like that um you know that can be sorted all right so um amazingly we've actually managed to actually get this done and uh, it's a fairly succinct setup now if you're behind as I've said before, get your skates on and let's get this happening. And um, because that uh, this is your biggest unit. OK, this is one of your biggest units. Now, it's not like building codes or anything like that. This is just basically this is the one that when you're actually estimating a job or anything like that, um, as soon as money's involved, you need to take a lot of care because there's people out there that will try and con you and scam you 
and um, you don't need to do that. You just need to be ethically uh, squeaky clean because nowadays, if you're not and you get found out, that's that's it, game over. Your career is pretty much at a, um, at a low point. And then what do you do with that? All right, thank you so much for listening. And uh, next week, we'll actually run over. So in the meantime, make sure that you get those uploads happening as soon as possible in regards to uh, the takeoff and send them to me to check over. And when you get them back, okay, all you do is you, uh, you follow on with your takeoff and basically fill that in and you'll have all that information. And uh, we'll uh, have some fun with working out how much does it cost to actually build a home. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.